Hi everyone, this is the video about the tutorial of using the quotient rule to differentiate a quotient function. So here I have a four examples to show you how to apply the quotient rule to, to find the derivative. So before we start, we just know that we need to know that the quotient rule actually is designed to differentiate the function in the quotient form, which is in the form of u over v. So if we have this kind of function, we want to find the derivative dy dx, we just need to copy down the v first and then differentiate the u. Remember to copy down the v first, uh, then we differentiate the u, then minus. The operation has to be minus and uh, copy the u, differentiate the v over the v square. Alright, so this is a formula for the quotient rule. Remember again, we copy down the lower function and then differentiate the upper function, which is the u prime minus need to remember is minus the operation is minus copy down the top function that is your u and then differentiate the v v uh, forming the v prime then the whole thing over the v square so here i have a function y equals to x over x plus one which this the top function i will represent it by the u and the lower function i represent it with the v so to get a dy dx Again, I would write the formula again so that I'm used, of, used to the, the formula. So v u prime minus u v prime over v square. Alright, so before we substitute into the formula, let's uh, write down what is the u that you decided to, to make it into the u. And uh, v is your x plus 1. So according to the quotient rule, we need the u prime and the v prime. So let's uh, find the u prime by differentiating the x with respect to x, which are causing the uh, which are have the uh, which are form the one, and uh, find the v prime also equivalent to one. Differentiate x plus one, you got one. Okay. So now we are ready to substitute v. V substitute as a x plus one, and the u prime is equivalent to one minus u x and the v prime also 1 divided by the v square v square will be x plus 1 square so what we can see is the top uh, uh, the top the num uh, numerator can be simplified you expand and simplify we got x plus 1 minus x over x plus 1 square so after we simplify we have a x minus x is equals to 0 and we left 1 on top then we check is there, is there any chance to different uh, to simplify I don't I think that this is my final answer which is a 1 over x plus 1 squared the second example again I will let this the top function become the u and this become the v so here I write down u equals to x square and the v equals to 2 x square minus 3 so get your u prime, u prime is a 2x and the v prime is a 4x. Then now you write down the formula of the quotient rule, which is a copy the v first and then multiply by u prime minus u v prime over v square. v, which is a 2x square minus 3, copy it down from here. And then my, uh, multiply by the u prime, 2x, minus the u u which is a x square and a v prime is a 4x over v square v given as a 2x square minus 3 square after that we can see that we want we can uh, actually uh, simplify the numerator which are uh, you have a uh, 4x cubed minus 6x minus 4x cubed over 2x square minus 3 square then 4x cubed minus 4x cubed cancel off each other. You have your final answer as your negative 6x over 2x squared minus 3 squared. Alright, so this is my answer. And uh, proceed to the next example. Again, I will let this become the u and this become the v. Alright, so u equals to 2x. Find your u prime, 2. And the v is uh, x plus 2 squared. To get the v prime, we can apply the power rule, which are uh, I differentiate the power two move over to the front, and the power of two minus one you get one. What is inside the bracket you just copy it down, and differentiate the inner function you get one. 
simplified it, you get 2x plus 2. Alright, so now you dy dx. Again, the formula v u prime minus u v prime over v square. Substitute the v inside, you get the x plus 2 square. Multiply by the u prime, that is 2, minus u. u is 2x. Multiply by v prime, which is given as a 2x plus 2 over v square. So the v is your x plus 2 square. Another square, you make the x power of 4 later. So here you can simplify. By expanding this, you get the x square plus a 4x plus 2 plus 4 and a minus 4x multiplied by x plus 2 over x plus 2 power of 4. Further expand, we expand the numerator, we got 2x square plus 8x plus 8 minus 4x square minus 8x over x plus 2 power of 4. So now we look at the numerator, see which term can, the light term can be, can be joined together. We got a 2x square minus 4x square, we got negative 2x square. 8x minus 8x cancel off and plus 8 over x plus 4 power of 4, x plus 2 power of 4. Then we have a negative 2x squared plus 8 on top. We can factor out the negative 2 maybe. Then we have your x squared minus 4 over x plus 2 power of 4. So x squared minus 4, x squared minus 4 can be factorized, which uh, I'm using this uh, a squared minus b squared can be factorized into the a plus b, a minus b. So the same thing, x squared is as if the x squared is your a squared, and the uh, 2 squared will be the b squared. So when I factor the x squared minus 4, I got my uh, x plus 2, x minus 2, over x plus 2 power of 4. Then uh, you can see that this can be cancelled off and the power below will become 3. Then you simplify it. Okay, so this is the final answer. Now we move to the example D. Again, I'll let this become the u and this become the v. So write down the u as your 3x squared minus 2. Get your u prime will be the 6x. And the v equals to x cubed plus 2x squared. So the v prime will be the 3x squared plus 4x. Now get, uh, get into the formula. U, v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So your v will be x cubed plus 2x squared multiplied by the u prime, which is your 6x minus, copy down the u, that is your 3x squared minus 2, and uh, remember to put bracket, and uh, multiply by the v prime will be the 3x squared plus 4x over v squared. Then uh, we need to expand and simplify the numerator. So when we expand, we get a 6x power of 4 plus 12x cubed. And uh, for the second term, we have a 3x squared multiplied by 3x squared, we get a 9x power of 4. And 3x squared multiplied by 4x, we have a 12x cubed. Negative 2 multiplied by 3x squared, we get a negative 6x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by 4x, you have your negative 8x over x cubed plus 2x squared squared. So probably you can uh, settle the sign first before we combine the like terms. Settle the sign, we get negative 9x power of 4. Negative multiplied by positive, you get negative 12x cubed. And negative multiplied by negative, you get positive. Negative multiplied by negative, again, you get positive. 
over s cube plus 2x square square. So now focus on the uh, numerator, see what we can simplify. So light term, we combine the light term, we join the light term. 6x power of 4 minus 9x power of 4, we got negative 3x power of 4. And x cube, 12x cube minus 12x cube cancel off. Alright, and uh, we have your 6x square and plus 8x over x cube plus uh, 2x square square. So on for the numerator, we can see that both three, all the three terms having the x. So we can factor out the x and the coefficient, this is negative 3, 6 and 8, that is no common factor. So we just uh, leave the uh, what? the coefficient uh, coefficient inside the bracket take out the x we got a negative 3 x power of 3 plus 6x plus 8 over x cubed plus 2x square square then we check is there anything can be can, uh, simplified if not then this will be the final answer Alright, so thank you for watching the video, hope it helps.